Yo, what is up guys, Jamie here, and we're back again with another episode. So, it's no secret that Fortnite is one of the most popular games on the planet right now. I mean, if you haven't heard of Fortnite yet, then you're probably living under a rock. On the other hand, Apple just released a huge refresh to the MacBook Pro lineup, and I thought it'd be interesting to test out if the new 2018 MacBook Pro can handle Fortnite. I mean, Apple even advertised the game on their website. Now, the model I picked up is the 15-inch laptop configured with the mid and 6-core 8th generation i7 processor, an AMD Radeon Pro 560X graphics card, and 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM. Now, I know Fortnite is not as well optimized for Mac than it is for Windows, so in this test, we'll run a game on the latest version of macOS and on Windows 10 through Boot Camp. And without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so, booting up the game on macOS, I found out the game did take a while to load. It took about 55 seconds to jump into the game after launching it. But really, that's not too bad, I was actually expecting it to take much longer. Once in the game, I tried to find the closest possible resolution to 1080p, because that's pretty much the standard resolution people play games at these days. On macOS, the closest possible resolution was 2048 by 1280 which is a little more than 1080p, but it's close enough. Next, I started to play around with the settings a bit to get the best possible frame rates. At high settings, I found that the frame rates hover around the high 30s to 40. Now, this is definitely playable, but we want to shoot for frame rates around 60 to get more smooth gameplay. And after adjusting all the settings to medium and turning post processing to low, we were able to achieve 60 to 70 frames per second on average. And I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty impressed by the frame rates. I mean, it is a Mac, and Macs have never been known for gaming. And the game actually looked pretty good. It didn't look too far off from my PS4 Pro, but I did notice some lag spikes from time to time when playing it on macOS, and I'm pretty sure this is a bug because I didn't experience it when running it on Windows 10. Needless to say though, you can definitely play Fortnite on macOS with the new 15-inch MacBook Pro. Alright, so jumping into Windows 10 through Boot Camp, it took about 50 seconds to load the game, and that's really only a hair faster than booting in on macOS. One thing I noticed right off the bat, however, is that going from the lobby into an actual match on Windows 10 took much less time than on Mac OS, two to three times faster actually. And I'm really not surprised by this because most games are more optimized for Windows than Mac. I decided to keep the same settings here I used to get 60 FPS on Mac OS. The only difference this time is that the available resolution that was closest to 1080p on Windows 10 was 1680x1050, which is a bit less than 1080p, but it's close enough. And surprisingly, it gave me the same results on Windows 10. My FPS stayed around the 60 mark throughout the majority of the game, while sometimes dipping down to 50, or even 40 during a fight. And again, I also didn't experience any lag spikes on Windows 10, whereas on Mac OS, I experienced multiple lag spikes throughout a match. All in all, the new 2018 MacBook Pro can definitely run Fortnite, and it can run it pretty well. But if you do want to run Fortnite on your Mac, I would definitely recommend you install Windows with Bootcamp and play Fortnite on Windows 10 as the overall experience is just much better on the Microsoft side of things. Thanks for watching guys, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos.